All right, welcome to this edition of the Native News Update. I'm your host for today's program, Paul Domain. Many of the stories read here can also be found at our website at IndianCountryNews.com. Here are the news read for the day from the Associated Press and other Native American news sources. A 19-year-old Cherry Creek man, uh, Cherry Creek, South Dakota man, who started a fire that killed his younger brother and sister will su serve life in prison. Akeem Rooks uh, pled guilty to two counts of second-degree murder earlier and one count of aggregated, aggravated sexual assault of a third child. The May 2, 2008 fire at Cherry Creek on the Cheyenne River Reservation killed Rooks's four-year-old sister, Kaya Rooks, and her two-year-old brother, known as Marvin Evanson. Court documents indicated they suffocated in the fire. Prosecutors said a child who was nine at the time is the victim of the sexual abuse that happened on the same day as the fire. Two men have pled not guilty in the death of a teenager on the Fort Berthold Reservation. Dwayne Bear and Jesse Mekkana are charged in federal court with second-degree murder. The 16-year-old victim is not named in court documents. Authorities say the youth was killed five months ago in White Shield, North Dakota. Trial for the 20-year-old Bear and 21-year-old McKenna has not been set yet. A former Pennsylvania man who pretended to be a Cherokee chief and billionaire oil tycoon pled guilty in federal court to a multi-million dollar wire fraud conspiracy charge recently. Federal prosecutor says Robert Eugene Shaney, 79, who now lives in Las Vegas, and another man who remains charged in the scheme, stole between $2.5 and $5 million from at least 10 investors in various states in Canada who believe they were invested in oil exploration ventures that Shaney claimed to control. Investors were told Shaney was Chief Soaring Eagle, a high-ranking official of the sovereign Cherokee Nation, according to allegations spelled out in the wire fraud count that Shaney pled guilty before a federal grand judge in Erie, uh, Pennsylvania. Shaney claimed he headed a charity named Helping All Races of People and said he was a billionaire tycoon who could offer high return investments with profits of up to 100 percent. Assistant U.S. Attorney Marshall Pasissanini said Shaney and the man accused of being his accomplice, 53-year-old Joseph Michael Guess of Phoenix, Arizona, spent most of the investments on themselves and created fake documents to make investors think the deals were legitimate. <clears throat> A new report says that Native American inmates were subjected to group strip searches before and after sweat lodge ceremonies at the private Crossroads Correctional Center in Shelby, Montana, but the Department of Corrections said the findings do not indicate a problem of discrimination. The lengthy report stems from complaints of discrimination at the prison that have been uh, culminated in an ongoing human rights complaint from the American Civil Liberties Union. The Department of Corrections and the Governor's Office released their own detailed report recently they said the agency first heard of the complaints of mistreatment against Native American inmates last August and that the ACLU of Montana got involved shortly thereafter. Correction spokesman Bob Anez said the agency believes the report found some individual issues that could be resolved but does not find a systematic pattern of racial or religious discrimination as charged in the original complaints. He said it appeared some of the issues resulted in a breakdown in communication uh, between the command of chain in charge. The ACLU had a different take, saying the investigative report clearly shows inmates were mistreated. An Argentine oil company is being forced to shut down its operations in the northern Peruvian jungle because of a month-long Indian protest that has blocked the only pipeline transporting oil out of the region. Uh, Plus Petro, the main company selling oil to the state-operated oil pipeline, said it began halting crude uh, production in its uh, principal oil block uh, recently because storage facilities at the pipeline are totally full. Indians have blocked the pipeline since April uh, 26, demanding the Peruvian Congress repeal a set of laws the tribes say will open their ancestral lands to private development and exploitation, including more drilling, logging, mining, and large-scale farming. 
the Peruvian Jungle Inter-Ethnic Development Association, 65 member tribes have blocked the highways and waterways across six jungle provinces since early April, demanding the government repeal at least nine decrees affecting their lands. They also want the government to revise oil concessions in the Amazon jungle and establish reserves for uncontacted tribes that live in voluntary isolation. President Alan Garcia in early May declared a state of emergency and suspended some constitutional rights in the four provinces mostly affected. He says the decrees are non-negotiable. The lands of the Amazon belong to the entire nation not to the small group of Indians that live there, Garcia said. The northern Arapaho tribe has agreed to sell beef raised on its uh, 595,000 acres certified organic land in Wyoming to Whole Foods Market Incorporated, its first major retail customer. Panorama Meats Inc. is partnering with the tribe to offer Angus beef from the tribe's Arapaho Ranch on the Wind River Reservation to Whole Foods stores in Colorado, New Mexico, Kansas, and Utah. The agreement offers the tribe $1,400 per head for grass-fed cattle that haven't been in feedlots or roughly a 25% premium to conventional beef, Panorama CEO Mark Graves said. Northern Arapaho Business Council Chairman Harvey Spoonhunter said the tribe is looking to supply around 2,500 head a year to the company. The tribe previously sold meat in conventional markets at auction to smaller local markets, but Business Council members said working with Panorama and Whole Foods offers longer-term stability and better prices. The tribe has had the ranch since 1940 and was certified organic last year, a move the business council made to fetch higher beef prices, according to council member Daryl O'Neill. You can get more information at www.arapahoranch.com. Officials at Haskell Indian Nations University in Lawrence, Kansas, are asking people to be on the lookout for poisonous snakes. Haskell biologist Chuck Haynes says a snake that was seen near the school is a non-native venomous viper, possibly a South American bushmaster, which can grow to eight feet in length. Just use caution, especially with your animals, Haynes said. He said he has removed two smaller venomous snakes from the same area recently and received an anonymous tip that the snakes had been dumped there. Signs have been posted throughout the Haskell's campus warning people that, the, that snakes might be lurking nearby. It's official. Chad Smith now seeking his fourth term as the principal chief of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma. A tribal court ruled recently during mid-May that Smith was eligible for re-election re despite a two-term limit that was enacted as part of the tribe's new constitution in 2003. The court ruled that Smith was in office prior to the passage of the term limit and should be eligible for two terms after it went into effect. Smith has only been elected once since the term limit took effect and announced recently he'll run for another four-year term in 2011. He was first elected in 1999. The court's ruling will also clear the way for some other tribal counselors to seek another term instead of being forced out of office. And that is the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. We want to thank our underwriters for helping with this broadcast and you for joining with us again. Stop by again soon and have a Great day.